So, Zimbardo, allow me to introduce myself publicly. I am G.I. Joe, the real one. Never mind these others that think they're doing something without any direction. The world is actually in peril, and I need an army of heroes to do something about it. So I figured, me being as evil as I am, I'd activate all your heroes. And who knows, maybe they'll save the day. But then again, how would activating 35,000 random everydayers do anyone any good? Well, Cobra's technology is actually pretty awesome. It's just not really manufactured very often. And of course, you're probably more interested in Cobra's mind transference technology, at least in your line of work. And I said I would cover that, but all in good time. A little at a time. For the show has to have that flair, ambiance, and mind blown. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is I'm going to cover a couple of these things, but, but ultimately, I wanted to start off by activating those here. Now, with Cobra's technology nearly at hand, those heroes, well, they might actually be useful. See, one of Cobra's technologies is a space doorway. Another is a spaceship or a microwave ship. It's really unimportant. The point is, it flies around and it costs no fuel or upkeep. And they go invisible. And so, how would an everyday hero afford to be able to actually do any hero? Well, with Cobra's technology at their hands in disposal, they might actually be able to do that. And if something really bad happened, Maybe even all at once. Of course, you might be thinking to yourself, well, of course, these are just theories. Well, no, they're not theories. They've been happening here and there in very small, momentary instances for a very long time. So, Coming up, as you can see, I'm rolling out my plan to actually save the world, as it is in peril. And push everyone over into the future. And with these careful movements that I am doing, One of the things uh, that is occurring is, is the uh, preparation for a rollout of transitional technologies. Of course, at the top of all technological uh, uh, innovation trees uh, and production, uh, there will be some technologies that are just far superior, such as a space doorway being 3,000 years more advanced than anything that anyone else has. And that's assuming that everyone just stopped what they were doing and all worked on 
that problem and that technology for the next 3,000 years. And so, to give you proper perspective on how advanced this technology is in relation to humanity at large, well, you would never achieve it. So, when I put forth the rules publicly on this technology, otherwise, it will be shut off, and you will never attain this kind of technology, but it will not stop anyone else from attaining the technology and imposing whatever it is that they want onto us in our world. So, there's really only one option. Let's all just finally get along. I'm not asking, can we? That is a politician's job. Somebody else has to actually do it. Whatever it is. And since everyone's so busy consuming, no one's thinking about actually doing. I am so crazy, I might actually do it. And of course, I have my people I need to worry about. You know, after years of doing dub and grenade, you don't think that I learned something from these uh, so-called doctors. On how to actually help people. Because I did. And also recently I obtained uh, uh, the location of a technology that has certain servos that allow mind erasing technology to auto target. So that way you don't have to have somebody like uh, you know, physically do anything. Uh, or get up close uh, to uh, sonically subdue somebody. It's a much better idea. And anyway, I need this to rebuild the Scepter of Cobra Commander. You know, to end all violence before it all begins. Or something. Anyway, just watch the uh, G.I. Joe Real American Hero and just replace uh, stun guns with those lasers and then it'll all make sense.